Good Tuesday morning, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. It is a decently quiet morning so far. We do have some showers around the Mid-South, but the good news is that as of right now, we're not going to be seeing much of anything else in the way of major problems today. No severe weather taking place, no flash flooding expected, so that's really good news. And we'll also take a look at some cooler and drier conditions as we get into tomorrow with lessening chances of rainfall into the early portions of Wednesday. Afterwards, we start a bit of a warming trend in the next few days. You can see on the 7 to 10 day forecast, numbers heading back to about 80 degrees by the time we hit about Sunday or so of next week into Monday. So some pretty toasty numbers coming our direction as we go throughout the next few days. Welcome to everybody who's just tuning in. If you've never been here before, this is our online exclusive video weather blog netcast. We try to do this every morning at about this time frame. And if you've got any questions, again, shoot me an email at austin.onic at wreg.com. And also don't forget about our complete Complete forecast available at wreg.com slash weather. Forecast down beneath in the bottom portion of your screen. So if you can't stick around for the whole thing, again, you have that opportunity to take a look and see what's going on out there. Quick check of the forecast. Again, through the rest of the day, numbers going back into the lower to mid-70s. Again, that's decently close for this time of the year. But we should be in the mid-70s, so a little cooler than yesterday and a little cooler for this time frame of the year, thanks in part to the clouds and the rainfall out there that'll be blocking out some of the sunshine. So a little cooler, not that bad, and those chances of showers and thunderstorms could be an issue for outdoor activities, so please keep that in mind. Welcome to everybody who's tuning in for this morning. Got any weather reports out there? Drop them into the comments section. Put that uh, thermometer outside the kitchen windows to do some good use out there and let us know what's happening in your neck of the woods, no matter where you happen to be at this point in time. Rest of the day today pretty close to where we should be, which was where we wound up yesterday. 72 degrees for a high officially in Memphis. 75 is our normal average. 45 degrees low temperature yesterday morning, so a little brisk out there. Normal low temperatures at this time of the year back in the lower to mid 50s or so across much of the area. Officially, no rainfall yesterday. We still have an amazing surplus for the year, just about 18 inches above normal on rainfall. So we're doing pretty good on that, but the trouble is We've got kind of a mini drought going on, and we could definitely use some more rainfall across the Mid-South, so hopefully enough to settle the wildfire danger. We'll take a look at that coming up here in just a little bit. Jackson, Tennessee, cloudy and 57. Brittany Sutton, welcome to the show. Thanks a lot for the weather report from there. Mark Sisko from down under Australia. That's a large continent-sized check-in. Hopefully it's a little bit closer to Sydney or down around Perth, maybe. If that's the case, let us know where you're checking in from down under. Walnut, Mississippi, Crystal Taylor, welcome to the show. Thanks for checking on in for this morning. And Ashland, Mississippi, Peggy Shelby, welcome to the show for right now. Looking at cloudy skies around the area of Olive Branch, from former mayor, current meteorologist Sam Reichard, cloudy skies looking northwest here, scattered light showers in the area, and temperatures back in the lower 60s. That's 14 degrees warmer in Olive Branch than it was 24 hours ago, so a little warmer there. Rain coming down, light showers reported around Germantown, Tennessee, back toward Poplar Pike and Germantown. The water towers north of Germantown High School showing again some pretty quiet conditions out there. Dustin Brumfield, KD5 LAP, welcome from KG4GKE, ham radio operators uh, codes there. Uh, 65 in Smithville, Mississippi, and cloudy skies. Thank you very much uh, for that one right there, for that weather report. Traveling this morning, no problems being seen. Yes, we've got clouds. Yes, we've got some scattered showers, but Memphis International Airport is showing no delays at this time, delays of 15 minutes or less. Yesterday, some delays around Houston. This morning, the only delays on the map were around Cincinnati, and that was it. Good traveling conditions across much of the continental United States. More information from the FAA if you'd like to check in with more at wreg.com slash weather for more information there. Richard D's rain at Brooks Road and 55. Thank you very much for that check-in. Not too far away from there, we've got Baptist DeSoto camera online. Some speckles of rain on the lens. But otherwise, traffic moving along pretty well. Corey Ventura will have more on Time Saver traffic coming up here in just a little while. Front down to our south. It's a warm front moving slowly up this direction, giving us some more tropical air. But it's not going to be around for long before this area of low pressure and an accompanying cold front sweep through the area as we go into later on this afternoon and this evening north of us. 
passing the Mid-South into overnight and giving us again some much needed chances of cooler weather. Faustin Henderson, yes, nice to see that cooler weather uh, in and around the Mid-South area. Could definitely use some of that. Good morning to Rebecca Stewart and William Kelly checking in from Cordova this morning. West Helena, Arkansas, cloudy skies reported from Aorma, Tiny Shields, hope I'm saying that correctly. Welcome to the show. For right now, Santana Thompson, Crenshaw, Mississippi. How's the weather for us? We'll take a look at that coming up in just a little bit, so stay tuned for more there. Heading south later on today, Jackson, Mississippi, I-20 on either side of I-55 in central Mississippi, southeast Arkansas, and northern parts of Louisiana under a flash flood watch. This does not affect the News Channel 3 viewing area directly, but if you are heading south today or know anybody in this area, may want to make certain they're up to date on the weather because, again, you could be looking at some travel conditions out there. It could be a bit of a problem later on with that heavy rainfall coming on through. Light scattered showers. Just about 10 minutes past 8 o'clock in the News Channel 3 viewing area. Light activity into and around the area coming up in northern Mississippi from just west of Tupelo down to Charleston and back over to south of Helena, West Helena, and the Clarksdale area. Meanwhile, into southern Arkansas, northern Louisiana, right into that flash flood watch area. Heavier rain showers and thunderstorms taking place here, including some thunderstorms back down to around the area of northern Louisiana and down around Jackson into around east central Mississippi this morning. More activity like this will be a problem for flash flooding south of us, but we could be seeing again some problems up and around the mid-south area as more showers and thunderstorms develop well back to our west. Southwest Arkansas, eastern Oklahoma, all of this could be a bit of an issue for later on today. We've already had some scattered showers close to the mid-south. These are what are left over of some scattered showers south of I-40 and southwest of West Memphis, Arkansas. Still moving east, so Hughes, Arkansas, you're probably getting a bit of a sprinkle for right now. And then more chances of rainfall making their way into the picture as we go throughout the course of the rest of the next several days. Clearing out and then more warm air heading our direction as we get into and around the next couple of days toward the weekend. That could be an issue there. Mild across the Mid-South right now. Temperatures back in the lower to mid-60s. Some of the warmest numbers out across the Mid-South. And those winds out of the southeast to the southwest helping to keep those temperatures up throughout the rest of the day. So running the numbers into the rest of the day, we're looking again at conditions out there, mainly in the upper 60s by the time we finish up News Channel 3 live at 9, lower 70s throughout the day, early in the afternoon. And again, some parts of northern areas of the viewing area north of Memphis and I-40 could be picking up more of a smattering, scattering of showers more than anything else, but there could be a potential of thunderstorms out there at any point in time, just about any place across the area. So yes, you might be able to get some outdoor work done, but keep in mind you're going to be ducking and diving these raindrops throughout the course of the rest of the day. And again, less chances coming up toward this afternoon, but still possible. So please keep that in mind if you're going to be doing anything from outdoors uh, throughout the rest of the day. Then, late tonight, past News Channel 3 at 10, cold front on the way, that colder, drier air poised to move across the Mid-South as we get into overnight. Ahead of that could be some more rumbles of thunder and some more scattered showers. What's left of that rainfall will be wrapping up tomorrow morning around daybreak. Now again, with, there might be a rumble of thunder out there, but as that colder air takes over, the atmosphere becomes less turbulent, gets more stable, more dense, and we won't see as much activity going on. So there could be some stray showers tomorrow morning. Doesn't look like a lot, but again, on the way to work tomorrow, definitely want to tune in for our forecast. And Corey will have updates on traffic into tomorrow morning as well. Much of the rain gone by rush hour tomorrow morning and some cooler temperatures on the way as well as we look into the course of the next couple of days. So showers and thunderstorms possible through the rest of the day today, tonight, and into early tomorrow. There could be the possibility of a drip of rainfall or two, but beyond that, it looks like clearing skies and, again, much cooler as we head toward Wednesday afternoon. After that, we start a nice warming trend over the next few days. Those of you out there who like the warmer weather, yes, you've got some of that coming in uh, into and around the area for right now. So we could see, again, some very mild conditions later into this next weekend 
uh, into and around the area. So it could be, again, some situations in there uh, for right now. So please stick around again for more on those chances coming up here in just a minute. Again, through this weekend, early during the weekend, probably not going to be too much going on. So I don't think the weekend is going to be a complete and total washout. But again, better chances of rain the farther you go from Saturday morning into Saturday afternoon. Better chances of rainfall there and then more chances of showers and thunderstorms the farther we go into Sunday, sticking around on Monday with temperatures back into the lower 80s across much of the area there. Now, cooling off again by next week, and beyond this forecast, again, about 10 days out into the end of next week, approaching Halloween, some of the computer models on the medium-range forecast are showing temperatures doing a pretty good tank as we go toward late October. Now, whether or not it stays that way, being that far out, we'll have to wait and see. But there are signs we could be looking at maybe some frost, possibly around the Halloween time frame. But we'll keep you updated on that as we go throughout the next few days and weeks. So keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for updates on that. Drying out as well, getting rid of the chances of rainfall by the time we head into the middle portion of next week. Down into the Gulf of Mexico, mainly the Western Caribbean, Central America has an area of low pressure kind of drifting around here, heading upwards into the Bay of Campeche. And as that happens, we may see some more development out of that. So late this week, if you're heading to the Gulf of Mexico, Brownsville to New Orleans, I would be keeping a very close eye on this system. Again, remember, we are still in hurricane season, so this could be an issue out there. Melissa has dissipated. It's no longer being kept track of by the National Hurricane Center as it's kind of diminished into just a tropical, subtropical wave now, so it's not really a threat outside of being a windstorm. But two other areas are being watched at this point. Invest Area of Investigation 95L, just north of South America. This is going to be heading toward the area around Hispaniola, the Lesser Antilles, possibly around Puerto Rico. Just a wave, not much of anything else. Winds, 30 miles per hour, not that much being seen at this point in time. Meanwhile, just off the coast of Africa, we have Tropical Depression number 15. This one developed right over Western Africa, heading up into the Eastern Atlantic, it looks like some strengthening could be possible. National Hurricane Center is showing the possibility of this becoming a tropical storm by tonight or early tomorrow morning. So keep it tuned for more on that. This could be our next named storm. If you'd like to know what that is, again, check out the National Hurricane Center for details. We've had Melissa. We're already up to the end storm for the year, so we'll see how well that goes. Governor of Mississippi has rescinded the proclamation from about two weeks ago of the statewide burn ban for Mississippi. But three counties in the News Channel 3 viewing area are still under burn bans at this time, including Benton, Tate, and Panola County. So please use uh, caution with anything involving uh, flame out there. That means, again, all outdoor burning is prohibited. That includes the barbecue pit, uh, anything in the way of outdoor welding to be very careful with, and anything involving the burning of yard or construction waste. That is something that could spark a wildfire. Yes, we've had rainfall. No, it's not enough to get rid of all the wildfire danger, which varies from county to county and location to location. So please keep that in mind for anything going on. If you don't know what is going to be allowed where and when. We've got the links to the Department of Agriculture's across the tri-state area on our website, again at wrag.com slash weather. Scroll down beneath the forecast. This graphic will be there, including links to the Division of Forestry for Mississippi, Arkansas, and the Division of Agriculture from the state of Tennessee. Now, in Tennessee and Arkansas, in the News Channel 3 viewing area, there are no burn bans in effect. Southern Arkansas, and parts of southeastern Tennessee, a few counties are under those burn bans until further notice. So make certain you're up to date with that before you go camping or decide to do any outdoor burning of any sort out there. We've got to be very careful to see, again, the possibility of maybe some wildfires catching on uh, into and around the area there. Jesse Tisdale from News Channel 3 production staff from a few years ago. Welcome to the show. Good to see you, sir. I'll tell everybody you said hello. Thanks for dropping on by the show. Good to see you right there. Hope everything's going well at this time. Do appreciate you stopping by. Uh, Jerry Jones, thanks for the compliment. Do appreciate that. And everybody else checking in for this morning. Coming up on Thursday morning, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration will be issuing their winter forecast for the season coming up. 
Now, it, this is going to be a teleconference for media and science personnel not available to the public. will be taking part in it, so to keep it tuned to News Channel 3 because we'll be posting the information at WRAG.com as soon as we get it, and NOAA will be issuing the information coming up after the conference is over with, so stay tuned again for more on that. Tonight in Lafayette County, Mississippi, at the Fire Department in Oxford, National Weather Service will be teaching their latest Skywarn training course. Several more coming up after that, about another five or six for this area of the Mid-South, teaching you what you need to know about severe weather. And for those of you who have been asking, it's not on this graphic right here, but the meeting for Shelby County has been finalized and has been posted. So if you'd like to know where, when, or anything else about these meetings, follow NWS Memphis on Twitter. Go to weather.gov and click on the Mid-South area on the map, and it'll take you directly to the National Weather Service in Memphis, and then click on the Skywarn banner for more information. These meetings are totally free, paid for by your tax dollars and my tax dollars. Great opportunity to learn about what to do before, during, and after severe weather. You get to ask questions from the National Weather Service in Memphis. They'll give you a special phone number to call when you have information to report because your information out there to the National Weather Service gets disseminated across the area to emergency personnel, to hospitals, to police stations, to television stations, so we can tell everybody else what you saw. Your information that you provide as a spotter could help save someone else's life in the Mid-South area because you were paying attention on there. So if you'd like to take the courses, here's some of them, more of them out there. And also, don't forget, we'll have the listings at wreg.com slash weather for more details on that. Welcome to everybody who's checking in uh, from around the Mid-South area. I do appreciate you stopping by. Thanks for the nice compliments out there. And always glad to help you guys stay informed on what's going on across the Mid-South. One more check of the forecast. Again, mild today, back in the lower to mid-70s. The clouds and the rainfall blocking out the sunshine. So we'll see slightly cooler temperatures today and the possibility of showers and thunderstorms lingering into tonight, dissipating into tomorrow as some cooler air arrives. After that, we start to see again the potential of numbers heading back upwards again as we go into this weekend. Could be temperatures somewhere around 80 degrees or so before another cool down heads our direction as we get into the forecast going on into around next weekend. Updates on the forecast coming up on News Channel 3 at 25 past the hour and 5 until. We've got live at 9 coming up at 9 o'clock. News at noon. Jim Jaggers will have your forecast coming up on News Channel 3 first at 4 later on this afternoon. Again, questions, concerns, ideas, complaints if you absolutely must. Uh, drop them to austin.onic at wreg.com, or you can get all of our social media contact information through wreg.com slash weather, which is also where you can pick up the forecast data from the News Channel 3 Severe Weather Center for the Mid-South and keeping you updated on everything that's going on out there, so stay tuned for a lot more. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Stay tuned for more with News Channel 3 throughout the rest of Tuesday and throughout the rest of the week. Thanks for joining us this morning.